Now let's look at powering up the Viper. First, we're going to plug in the power cord, nice and secure. And we'll take the other end and plug it into a wall outlet. And we're going to plug in the USB cable, but we're only going to plug it into the machine. The part that hooks into the computer, we're not connecting it this time. We want to make sure we install the print driver before we plug this into our computer. We're now going to turn the power on. Power switch on. Takes about seven seconds for that to power up. Now we're going to come here to the front of the machine. We're going to make sure we release the emergency stop button that's usually pushed in during shipping. We simply turn it to the right and that releases it. And now we're going to come to the control panel and power up the machine by pressing the power button. After a moment in time, the machine is going to come up with this message that says non-genuine. We need to clear that non-genuine message. What that non-genuine message is referring to is it's telling us that the cartridges that we have in this machine are not genuine Epson cartridges. We use dummy cartridges because Epson does require the use of a cartridge, but we made our own so that we can give you a resetting device and reset the ink chips. Because of that, when the Epson driver looks at this, it says that it's not the normal genuine Epson part. So we need to override this. In order to override this, it says non-genuine. We hit the forward button once. It says the cartridge may. We hit forward again. Not perform at. Forward again. Optimum. Forward again. Continue forward one last time and it gives us the option to say yes or no we're simply going to say yes by hitting the select button now it's telling us damage from I hit the forward button cartridge is forward not warranted forward again do you accept forward again this forward again and I can accept or decline it I'm going to accept that what that second message is stating is that by using the machine in this fashion, you are voiding the Epson warranty. But the warranty that you have is not actually through Epson, it's through the DTG line. So therefore, we're just bypassing that error message. We give it a moment and it should clear the error and go into a normal startup mode. You want to make sure you don't have a platen on the machine at this point in time because that bed belt does move forward and backward a couple of times and if you have a platen on there it could fall off the end. It's now in a ready status. If we look at the light on the top of the machine, the solid green light on the machine like that means that the machine is in its ready status which means it's ready for printing or any kind of maintenance that you might do to the machine. Another way you might see that blinky light is if the machine is flashing blue. A blue flashing light means that the machine is busy doing something. It could be receiving a file, it could be in the middle of a cleaning, it could be in the middle of printing. It just means that it's busy doing something. Anytime you have a red flashing light that means there's an error with the machine. You simply want to look at your control panel and resolve the error. After the machine has been at rest for a while, you'll see the blinky light and instead of being lit solid green, it will be more in this fading and then brightening mode. This mode is nothing more than a standby or a rest mode. So typically when you come in to start your day, 
the printer will be in this mode. 